Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Willie of Willie B Studios and I just want to thank you guys so much for coming by to check out the collaboration between myself and Tara Lombardi of Pieces of Tara Artistry. You know, when we got together about a month ago and decided to do a collab, I was all smitten with her pearl pours and her Dutch pours and she loved that I did the cloud pours and you're like, well, let's kind of mush them together. Let's do a Dutch pour with um, the Vallejo Pearl Medium Cloud Mix that I use. Let's put that in there and see if anything fun happens, any cool cells or clouding or fluffiness or whatever. So um, it was a bit of stretch for me to go down to a thin paint after doing thick cloud pours for so long, but it was super fun and I'm totally gonna be playing with cloud mix in Dutch pours even more. So anyway, I'm gonna give you guys the colors in the next part of the video and they're also gonna be in the description box below. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with us, hanging with us, and um, let us know what you think. And Tara, thank you so, so much for this collab. So yay, let's see what happens. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, I just wanted to pop back on here and kind of show you the, you know, introduce the colors as I pour them on the canvas. Um, there's the list of them and they will be in the description box below with uh, how I mix them. So first I'm going to lay down a layer of the Prussian blue and when I first put it down I was like, oh my god, it's too thick. So I had to like thin it out and put it back down on this 18 inch round MDF board. So yeah, definitely getting the right consistency for a Dutch pour is, uh, is you know, takes some finesse if, you, you know, especially for me since I haven't done it for a while, but, um, and I went slightly thicker than what, you know, a classic Dutch pour goes for. So this first color down is that mint, that kind of minty mint. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with that medium kind of blue that definitely has Prussian blue in there, but it also has pigments. It's just all scrapes from past blue paintings. I'm really trying to, to use all that stuff. So right here, I did a pretty good line of the um, my cloud mix, which is the Vallejo Pearl Medium and the Artist Loft Soft Body White. Then I went back in with that. Oh no, that is um, that is Lakeside. That's this little piggy Lakeside. This is going to be this little piggy Lagoon. And then I'm not sure what I ended with. Okay, so I added more of the um, white cloud mix. I really wanted a lot in there because I wanted to see. Oh yeah, and I was just pointing at the little the little splatters that got on there, and they were like kind of having a reaction. They were puffing up a little bit. So yeah, so I believe that's it. I don't lay any more paint down, but I do. Um, some Prussian blue around. Yeah, and you can see it's possibly a little thick, but it works out. So I'm going to let you guys watch me blow this thing out. I mess with it a lot. And um, in the end, you'll see that the finest final piece um, is, is slightly different than what I started with, just a little bit. But yeah, you know, definitely my whole well, you know what? I'm going to shut up. I'm just going to let you watch and I'll be back in just a little bit. <laughs> okay.
Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging in with me if you have during this whole thing. And all I can say is, you know what? Don't give up. If you don't like a section, um, just keep working on it. And that area right there, I messed with so much. And now when I look at it, like right at the beginning, I'm like, why didn't you just leave it? Like, I think Dutch pours are so difficult because it's like less is more. Like do your initial blowout and then tweak it with your breath. Right. Um, but look, I'm scraping it again. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have a lot of paint left over. <laughs> I'm going to have to really gingerly make this work. So I just got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm cool with that. I dig it. It looks more organic. Let's just leave it. But, um, you know what? The cloud mix definitely did some puffing. It definitely, um, has, you know, a cloudy kind of effect. Honestly, I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to continue to play with the cloud mix. I'd love to do a cloud mix pour um, in a Dutch, I'm sorry, cloud mix in a Dutch pour, but use like a ton of white and maybe like one other color on a dark background and see what happens. So yeah, we're getting ready to go to the close up. Um, I don't know that you noticed, but there was a middle section missing. Um, there was an area in there that was driving me nuts and I just scraped it off at some point and got rid of it. But yeah, so here are some of the cells um, that popped up from the cloud mix. Um, you can see some of the pigments in there. That's the area I worked on forever. But this little area right here, I kind of uh, messed with after the camera turned off. But there was some really pretty things going on. Um, do I think it's a lot different than classic white? It's definitely different, but like I said, I want to push it more and see what else the cloud mix can do in a Dutch pour. Cause I think it could be so ethereal and pretty, but yeah, this piece I worked on for a long time, even that little middle section, um, which you can see right here, like right in the middle there, there was a piece that jutted out like a, that I messed up and I just got rid of it. <laughs> so here comes some stills. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm so appreciative that you stopped by and um, hung out with Tara and I today. And uh, yeah, please like, share and subscribe. And again, Tara, thank you so much. And uh, thanks to you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.